what's your morning routine? Take me through it from waking up, what time, what do you do, what are you eating, what are you drinking, what movements are you going through? Yeah, so typically around five o'clock we get up. Um, I do a black coffee. I'll go down, I'll have uh, EAAs and L-carnitine. And that's like 15 minutes before I go and do my first. Is that oral L-carnitine or injected? Uh, oral. Yep. Yeah, oral uh, through liquid, liquid form. And then 15 minutes after that, I'll go and do an hour fasted cardio. So 30 minute cross trainer, 30 minute incline walk. Um, what sort of heart rate is on to? Again, I don't look at that now. That, that's, I'm very basic in okay. that thing. It's a low intensity. It's nothing too, too strenuous in that way. Uh, I'll do 30 minute core work or um, it, it's either 30 minute core work or 30 minute uh, stretch mobility work after that hour. Um, and then it's 30 minutes uh, posing. So you do your posing. Uh, how, what time is it now? So that is seven o'clock ish, half seven. Wow. Half okay. Seven. So it's a very regimented morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Seven o'clock. Seven. Yeah. So then half seven, I'll go in, I'll have <laughs> yeah, a massive breakfast, but uh, to most. Most people, it's massive, but for me, it's it's nothing. But um, what does that typically consist of? So I'll always make sure uh, my first meal has every source of a pro. So we've got a good um, source of protein, bioavailable protein. We've got so like a whey protein or a whey isolate. We've got complex carbs, so oatmeal. Um, we've got essential fats through almond butter or almond flakes. We've got blueberries, antioxidants. Um, are you blending all this together or are you eating it separately? No, I eat it all together. Uh, in I don't blend it. We, yep. we cook it. Yep. I put the protein in. I let the I cook it all first, let it cool down, then put the protein in not to, to degenerate it too much. Yep. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I'll take my multivits. Um, so we've got multivits, CLA, uh, Amigas, all that kind of stuff um, around yeah, my meal. And we're now at what, 8.30? About 8 o'clock, eight. yeah, around 8 o'clock. Okay, day's about to begin. Yeah, and then obviously my son's ready to, he has his breakfast with me, so I make his breakfast at the same time. Um, I've changed his nappy twice by then. <laughs> okay, does that get added into the workout as well? Yeah, it's horrendous. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we get him ready. Um, and then, yeah, I start my working day. So, Dude, I mean, just that morning, you mentioned before we got started, I train three times a day. Mm. You know, I, I'm good friends with a bunch of CrossFit athletes and they're known for training slash overtraining. Yeah. I think from the outside, especially the world of physique, yeah. uh, but also bodybuilding, the volume of training is something that people don't really get to see. Yeah. And part of that is it doesn't translate very well on video. Yeah. You know, true. like uh, understand it because no one's going to show five or six sets of 12 on yeah. one exercise, then yeah. five or six sets of 12 on yeah. another exercise. Whereas everybody knows what a 20 minute EMOM or 30 minutes yes. of monostructural work is. I think CrossFit particularly is a, a sport or a, a training methodology that is designed to look good yeah. on video. You know, it's quite compelling. Yes. It's varied. It's high intensity. Uh, Bodybuilding is a bit more monotonous, yeah, which very, makes it yeah, less exciting. So. Um, I think the same thing's true of footballers as well. That mm. The difficulty of training that footballers go through specifically is something that nobody thinks about. Like you yeah. think about boxers, uh, you know, even it's tennis players, golfers, you think about the yeah. amount of time that they yeah. spend. So to just, me, when you think about footballers, given that it's the most popular sport on the planet, I just don't hold them in the same reverence you know i don't think that the hard workers i'm yeah. sure that there are the tons yeah. and tons and tons of hard workers look at yeah. ronaldo with his top off uh, yeah. insane yeah but i still don't hold them in that same way do you know what i mean yeah. no 100 percent. but then obviously we'll talk about just to, to give you insight like my working day as well so i eat every two hours so i have to cook at least six meals a day so in that time i have three chicken breasts or no, four chicken breasts, in fact, four chicken breasts, two salmon fillets, two fillet steaks a day, four eggs a day, all with rice, white potato, eggs, uh, oats, uh, so much veg. So I have to prep all that, that's straight after my morning. You're doing that, you haven't got somebody that comes no. in, you're not just paying a chef to come and do this for you? So I did that for about three months and I just couldn't get my head around someone else doing my work for me. And I just, because I need to know when I step on stage, every part of my prep and every part of my 365 days of the year going into that show i know exactly what i've put into been my under body. your control yes and I, even my wife bless her I, we had this conversation last week she tried to shorten my day but so whilst i was she was working out right he's, he's must be nearly 15 minutes from finish she started to make my breakfast and she put it in the microwave ready so all i had to do was press it on but i couldn't get my head around it because i was like 
Are you She's sure measured it out? Yeah, there's only yeah. 120 grams in that. You sure there's only 20 grams of almonds? And it's ridiculous, but I just feel comfortable. Yep. I don't make a scene or anything. It's just what I've always done. Quietly chug on, yeah. get it done. And when people talk about, um, like if you see a bodybuilder, and they get, you get this misconception, and it's, it's horrible where people are like, oh, you're living out your Tupperware and you make a big scene of it, and yeah, you've got your fish and rice. I've managed to do that for, for 20 years now, and I've never made it. Like, I can still socialize with my friends, still go out at night. If we go to restaurants, if I can't eat what, nine times out of 10, I can eat in every restaurant. You just ask for a plain steak or a plain chicken breast, jacket potato, some mixed veg or a mixed salad. It's easy. So when they say, oh, I can't have that, I can't eat any, any of this because it's not on prep. You can, of course you can. You just have to adapt. And it's, it's how much you want to live in normal society and be a bodybuilder, which don't typically go hand in hand. But I go on nights out, I'll nip out to my car, quickly eat my meal, come back in, the time it takes to go to the toilet. So people don't even know, like my son's birthday, really sad, two two weeks out from the Olympia, everyone's celebrating in his pub, um, yeah, uh, garden uh, pub. And yeah, I just kept nipping off every two hours into my car to eat my meals back in. No one even knew it looked like I'd gone <laughs> yeah. to get a drink. But it's, like being a, it. it's like being a, a closet drug addict, yeah. but yours is protein instead of heroin <laughs> yeah. or something. Went to watch Creed 3 last week with my brother-in-law and I was, I was nipping to the toilet, straight out of the fire exit, <laughs> eat my meal in the car park, straight back in. Didn't even, no one even knew. And I just thought, you don't have to make a scene of it. It's just part and parcel of what I do. And it's just became the norm now. But but yeah, just to follow on from the working day, uh, then I get into my emails. Like I said, I've got five businesses to run. So I've got property developing, I've got a clothing company, I've uh, got a coaching company, um, Blood Lab, which is um, a healthcare clinic company, and then RJT Limited, which is all my sponsors and obligations there. So what's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.